Why are less men going to college than women? Why are less men going to college than they used to? Multiple reasons why. Number one, a lot of men are being raised by single mothers. You know, and parenting does have specific gender roles. A lot of times what happens is if a woman has a girl and she's a single mother, she will project her single motherhood and her lifestyle and her will, her beliefs and gender identity onto her daughter. It's a woman's world. You can do it, girl. You got this, girl. You're gonna go to school. You're gonna go to college. You're gonna be successful. You're gonna make me proud. Like, let me tell you something, okay? You're a girl. Don't worry about having a boyfriend. Don't worry about having children. Don't worry about falling in love. You don't need no man. You're gonna be strong. Don't give in to a man. Don't ever fall in love. Don't ever do what I did. <clears throat> you don't wanna be a single mother like me. Have an abortion if you get pregnant. This is what these mothers teach their daughters. But when it comes to time for these single mothers to deliver a baby boy, and that boy is growing up, she neglects him. You're a boy. <clears throat> I never wanted you. I wanted a girl, but I got a boy. But I can't give you up because then I'll have to deal with CPS and I'll get in trouble, I'll go to jail. But I really don't want you, cause you're a boy. You're just like your daddy, I hate you. You're, you're never gonna amount to anything, you're gonna be just like your dad. Rather than these single mothers take responsibility for their own actions <clears throat> and woman up to their responsibilities. Rather than these single mothers take self accountability and be self-reliant towards their own actions and their decision-making, which was wrong. Shoulda told him to wear a condom. Shoulda never got with Pookie and Ray Ray. Shoulda never got with Silas. You know, and so the, these single mothers, they teach, their, they teach their boys, whenever they teach their boys, whenever they communicate with them, which is few and far between, you're nothing. I hate you. You'll never amount to anything. You're just gonna go to jail. You'll be a jailbird. You'll be a drug addict. These mothers, even married women do this, by the way. They're, they have lady friends that have children. Some don't have children. Uh, especially some of these single mothers that go in the workforce and they have, they have careers and they're surrounded by bachelorettes. Girl, I feel sorry for you. He's a boy. Look at you. And they even talk condescendingly to their, these bachelorettes, they even speak condescendingly to these, to their, the boys of these single mothers. It's like, look at you, you're a boy, you're, you're bad, you're inherently bad. And all the, 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 uh, the lady friends of this mom, whether she be married or not, this is what they do. Ah, uh, oh, and if there's more than one child, it's like, Oh, the girl's so adorable. She's, she's a, she's a real cutie. She's bound to, for success. She's bound for college. She's bound for success. But him, I don't know about him. I don't know. He's a, uh, he he he's gonna grow up to be a monster. Look at him. He's big. He's he's masculine. He's gonna be an enemy of society. And it's like, what do you expect when you hear? When boys hear this kind of behavior, when uh, this kind of attitude, this, you know, this is where toxic masculinity comes from. It comes not just from toxic fathers or toxic men. And you know, it's not just the, the mothers or the lady friends of these women. It's not just them. It's, it's even, sometimes even the fathers teach their boys this kind of stuff. It's like even the fathers or even guy friends of the women or even, you know how some of these single mothers are, they have multiple boyfriends. These men come and go, simping, simping, simping. Just one simp after another. And so they come and go, and guess what? Even some of the boys of these, these uh, the, the boyfriends of these, these single mothers, that's what they do. 
they tell their the the sons of these single mothers and the dad's not around to protect the boy that you're your boy mama wishes she never had you mama hates you uh you're gonna you're gonna go to prison you're gonna be bad boy you're gonna be a bad guy and see this is where toxic masculinity comes from you know it's like everyone's complaining about toxic masculinity but look at what these single mothers are teaching their their boy their boys and look at the environment that these single mothers surround their boys in look what they're doing telling their boys that they're they're gonna be just like their dad yo you're worthless already look at you you're five years old and you leave your shoes laying around just like your dad you don't pick up after yourself just like your dad are you 10 years old look at you you don't even take a bath just like your dad look at you you're worthless you're just like your dad you're nobody you're not gonna be anything i hate you and how do you think that affects the boy the 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 son of these these boys that grow up to hate themselves. You know, this is how male sociopaths like Ted Bundy are born. This is how you create these environments, you know. This is how you create these monsters. You know, it, it, they're not chill. Boys are not born evil, okay. No baby, no infant is born evil. But when, you t when, a, when a boy is told over and over again, I hate you. I wish that. I had an abortion with you. I wish I could have had an abortion. I hate you. I wish you were never born. You know, when they're told that uh, you're not wanted, but I don't want to get in trouble with CPS, so I have to take care of you. Otherwise, I go to jail, but I really don't want to. While hearing his sister get told, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, uh, you're special. You're intelligent. You're not dumb like your brother. You're going to go to college. You're going to be successful. You're going to earn a lot of money. You're going to be a strong, independent woman. But you, you as a boy, you're, you're, you're doomed to failure. You're, you, you know, these boys are being doomed. They're being condemned before they ever commit their first sin in life. These boys are being indoctrinated, not just at home, <laughs> by these single mothers. <coughs> Not just at home by these single mothers. Not just at home by, by the boyfriends of these single mothers. But they're being taught this in public education. <clears throat> you have school teachers that teach the, the boys. They make these, these snide remarks. And then the mothers. And then the, the friends of the teachers. And the friends of the mothers. They make these snide remarks to these boys. Like, oh, he's a boy. He's terrible. <clears throat> Boys are being criminalized just for being born with a Y chromosome. It's pathetic. It's it's absurd. I'm telling you, there is a war against not men, not just men. It doesn't start with adolescents. It starts the day that the child, the the identity of the the fetus is revealed in the womb, is when the war starts against the man against the patriarchy teaching boys that they're dumb teaching boys that that they they'll never succeed that they're doomed to a life of crime and imprisonment and incarceration teaching boys that that see when i was not this is my personal experience okay when i was in the third grade in elementary school of course that was a public school I was there was a joke that went around that about boys and girls and I forget exactly how it goes but it's something like this it's like girls are smarter girls are smarter girls go to Mars to get more smarter boys are stupider boys are stupider boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider and it's like when you hear that when boys hear things like this it goes to the subconscious mind Boys believe it because they're impressionable. They're young. And they, you know, often what happens is these boys, they favor their mothers more than their fathers because most of the time the boys are raised in a single mother household. So, yeah, they automatically take the side of women and, and mothers and, and you know, uh, school teachers and, and the, the hatred that there is with these that's against these boys it's just unbelievable 
So obviously this is gonna fall on the boy when he goes through adolescence. He's going to learn that he's gonna make lower grades in school and he's gonna think it's because of my gender, I can't help it. Then the next thing you know, he's got gender identity disorder. It's like, comes home and says, I wanna be a girl. I wanna be trans woman. I wanna be a trans girl. I don't even wanna be a boy anymore. I hate my gender. I hate myself. I hate society. I hate everything and I'll never be happy unless I'm a girl. When I become a girl, I'll be happy because girls are strong. Girls are more powerful than boys. And it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's the hatred against boys, against men. And, and then it doesn't stop there when they, in high school, lower grades, uh, f uh, fighting, substance use. Uh, why do you think that you see so many more men incarcerated than women? Cause you have the single mother, <clears throat> you have the stepmother, you have the stepfather, you have the public school system, you have these public teachers that teach that everybody indoctrinating this boy that he's just not intelligent, that girls are smarter. And in the public school system, if you're a girl in high school, you're, you're automatically sought after by by colleges. You're encouraged to go to college. Uh, we need more girls in college. <clears throat> we need more women scientists. Uh, the, there's a real big problem with the medical field, okay? Doctors are... Uh, the, the, the medical field is dominated by men, and that's a bad thing because men are bad. We need more girls in the medical field. We need more girl scientists. We need more girl doctors. We need, <clears throat> we need more women for lawyers. We need more entrepreneur business. Oh, and that's another thing. Women are nowadays, and I know this because I work with a predominantly uh, women's uh, women's own business. And <clears throat> there are a lot of college students that, that go to where I work for interns. And they are, they are taught, and they tell me this, that they are taught uh, that these businesses are seeking women. If you're a young woman, uh, you're in college, then you need to, you need to go with us, uh, go to college, start your own business. Uh, we need women entrepreneurs, we need more women in the business, uh, sector. We need more women in fashion design. We need more women in restaurant industry. We need more women. We need more women. We need more women in the medical field. We need more. Uh, and that's another thing, the nursing field, uh, largely women, the boys are taught they're less educated they're they're less educatable that they're less intelligent it's like why go to college why is, you know these a lot of these guys coming out of high school are like why do i need to go to college <clears throat> when i don't want to get married i don't want to get married i don't want to have a family i don't need to make a lot of money because the american dream is a lie so why should i make a lot of money why do I need a college degree when I could just get a trade? You know, why do I want to go into debt, sign my life away for 20 years of debt, you know, and marriage? Uh, no woman wants me because women say that they don't need men anymore. So since uh, women don't need us men anymore, <clears throat> there's no point in me going the extra mile for success. Then women complain about men not being successful not going to college, not winning, not being engineers, not being the breadwinner. Well, I mean, y'all told us we're stupid, we're dumb, that we're good for nothing, and that y'all don't need us anymore. So it's like, why should I sign my life away for debt, for high interest loan, and to try to get married only to get divorced, <clears throat> to pay child support and alimony, so if I don't make enough money to own a house, to own a mortgage, to, you know, to start a business, to, to be an engineer, no woman's going to want me anyway. So like, why bother? Why bother going to college? See, there's, there's the lack of incentive for men to go to college. Men don't have the incentive that they once had to go to college. I mean, they just don't. 